Chuktek, it's a brand that I've covered before. They make quality power banks and I have two high capacity, high output models here that I'll be covering in this video, which by the way is sponsored. The Chuktek 20, this model here can have a maximum output of up to 210 watts. That's really high. Out of a single type C port, up to 140 watts, which is impressive. And its capacity is 25,000 milliamp hours. And then we have the Chuk Tech 15. This is a 65 watt maximum output, and out of all of the ports, 85 watts. It's a more affordable model from them, and its capacity is 20,000 milliamp hours. First up, this is our Chuk Tech 20, and I'll show you what we do get included with it inside the box. So it is very neatly packaged up. There is our, obviously, our power bank, and here we have inside the cables. Now it comes with a little pouch which is really good so that means that you can put it in that and it's not going to get all scratched up. There is a user manual here and the cable they include here so that's rated to 6 amps this cable. The other battery bank that I did talk about at the intro there is this one so it's the Chuktek 15 it's 85 watts the maximum discharge of this one and it's a 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank and that translates into 72 watt hours. So what is included? We'll have a look. Obviously there is our power bank and I'll go over that in a second. And we have the same six amp cable, so type C to type C. So this one being a more affordable model isn't quite as flash as what we get with the Chuktek 20, but there is a screen. If you press the button here, you can see the remaining charge percent. So that one is showing, showing there obviously that it's 62%. So it's all plastic on the outside here, all silver. And the back of it, this has a darker color to it, I guess, so that doesn't get scratched out where the silver paint is on the outside. They did always place it down like that on a table. Now the outputs on it here, you can see that we get the two type C ports and I'll type A and as mentioned that it's 85 watts in total, the maximum output, and it can do 60 watts here out of its type C port. So for example, a Surface Pro 9 at 60 watts max, it'll be able to charge it once. Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra at the 45 watts max that it does support, that's going to charge it then uh, 2.8 times. So just shy of three times. And finally, something like an iPhone 15 Pro Max, well, it will be able to charge that at its 27 watts max. And that is also a 2.8 times charge that it can do for your iPhone. So handy if you're gonna be carrying this around, you're gonna get almost three charges out of those larger flagship smartphones. Checking on the weight, so that Chuk Tech 20 with its 90 watt hour capacity, as expected, is gonna be a little on the heavy side. So 638 grams. The Chuk Tech 15 with its 72 watt hours, that is 491 grams. The Chuktek 20 has a nice bright TF panel here and you can see the input wattage, output wattage and what each of the type C ports are doing and the type A port there. Now if you press again you get a little graph here of the total output, total input and then pressing again and if I press and hold I can keep that screen on so I can swap that over to yes to keep it on if you wanted to do so. So there is this little status LED when it's charging or discharging you see a little animation here. The quality of this is very good, see-through, so I can see what looks like a bit of a heat sink inside there and the battery cells within. Chuktek branding down here, nothing along here on the side, it's just telling you that the capacity is that 25 milliamp hours and that's 90 watt hours it translates into 110 max out of all of the ports. Now the back we've just got a little bit of information on all those outputs there, it's quite small the text there to read that and overall generally pretty good build quality. So at this end, this is where all the business end is here with our ports. So we get up to 140 watts single output. It supports power delivery three, and you have the other type C port there as well, and I'll type A. Now when it comes to the charging, what it can actually do, well, an iPhone 15, for example, or 16, is gonna be able to charge that four times. An iPad, around 2.2 times. To charge a MacBook Air is gonna be able about 1.2. Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, just over three times and a Nintendo Switch about 3.3 times thanks to the large capacity. And that 90 watt hours that it does state on this side just there, that is airline safe. So you can't take more than 99 watt hours. It depends, depends on of course your local laws, regulations, what you have there. But according to this one, 
It definitely is, at least here for me when I fly. As long as it's under 99 or 99 watt hours and under, you're fine to fly with it. All right, I want to have a look at charge times now. So I'll test out here first. This is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, and it came up with the supercharging logo. So it supports Samsung's Supercharge 2.0. Now I do have a ROG Ally X. I think this is a fantastic gaming handheld, one of the best. That's why I do have it. So I'll plug in our Type-C port. Now I believe that this can charge at a much higher rate than the included charger, which is 65 watts. And yes, you can see here that our Chook Tech 20 is charging that at, it's a little hard to see, I know the screen on camera, but that's just shy of 100 watts. So that's very good. And it's using power delivery 3.0 that it does support. I've got one of my fastest chargers with me here. Now this is a 135 watt charger. We'll plug it in, have a look at the charge rate. So it can charge at 110 maximum. And that means at 19 minute mark, it will charge up to 40% and around two hours to fully charge. So you can see the rate at the moment is 60, but that's because I'm using another port here. So I wanna go over to the faster port, which is the blue one. And this will then go up to, should be around about the 92 watt mark I've seen it with this particular charger. So almost there, we're at 89 watts, you can see. Now, can you discharge and charge at the same time? So yes, you can do that. So plugging in here the cable, and I have my Ally X plugged in, and that's gonna start to charge that now at 45 watts because of the port I'm using. That Type-C port, we'll swap it over. I want it in the fastest one that supports up to the 100 watt and you'll see now that it should do this. It should now be, okay, there we go. 100 watts. Well, it peaked at 100 watts, but I think my battery is quite full at the moment. That's probably why. And now charging at 60. So you can do both at the same time, which is good. One of my favorite laptops, which is a Huawei MateBook X Pro. This is the 2024 model. Supports 100 watt power delivery fast charging which I can see when I plugged it in, did pop up with turbo charging, so that's great. So both of these are really nice, high quality products. Now, if you're on more of a budget here, the Chook Tech 15 still has you covered with up to 65 watts from the Type-C port and 85 watts in total. But if you have really demanding devices, so for example, like I showed you, my ROG Ally X here, this Huawei laptop that does accept 100 watts charge rate and this one as well, power delivery, then of course the Chook Tech 20 is probably the one to go for if you want the really fast charging right there. So out of its single Type-C port up to 140 watts and in total with all your other devices, 210, that's really good. Now if you wanna find out the pricing of these and more information, do check the links in the description of this video and thank you so much for watching.